Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I did my sister's makeup for her 18th birthday and yeah, this is more kind of like a get ready with me transformation video. So some of the products I didn't really show that much but I will write every single thing down in the info box along with links as well. Um, so here I'm using an e.l.f. brow pomade kind of thing and I believe it's in the shade dark and I'm just using this on the brows and this brow stuff does not budge and then I went in with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand to carve her brows out and tidied them up a bit and I also went in with the e.l.f. brow gel in dark as well and this brow gel is really good at keeping your hairs in place and I just used that right on top just to set the brows. So now onto the eyes, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Conceal in Tan San as a base on both eyes. And then for palette today, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I love this palette, so good. But anyways, yeah, I'm just grabbing this skin tone, flesh tone kind of colour and I'm just setting the concealer with that colour. And then I used this, I would say, brownie taupey shade. And I'm using this in her crease and kind of above the crease as well. I also went in with a bright orangey colour from the palette and I made the crease look even more vibrant and colourful so I placed that on the crease and just above it as well and I made sure that I blend the edges with a clean brush afterwards. Now I'm grabbing a flat shader brush with this, I'll call it like a mahogany brick brown, I'm so bad at describing colours but I'm just applying this on her mobile lid area and I'm bringing it up towards the orange colours to make a nice transition. I'm also using this really really dark brown from the palette as her eyeliner or smoky eyeliner I would call it and I'm just smoking this on her upper lash line very rough, roughly to be honest and I also went in with one of the lighter colours from the palette and just highlighted her brow bone quickly. I'm just going to put some quick mascara, this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara which is really really good. And then for lashes I'm using the Eyelaw Vegas Nay Glamour, Grand Glamour lashes, these lashes are so good. Um, but while I was waiting for the lashes to dry I did apply some really dark brown on the outer corner of the eye as well. So I just wiped away any of the excess and I used some of my Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid eyeliner and I just did a simple line across the lash line. I didn't do any wing or anything, I just did a simple liner just to cover the lash band and make it look neat and made sure that I blended the edges. So now onto the skin, I'm using the Origins Make a Difference Ultra Rich Facial Cream. This is really moisturising so I just applied that on the skin. And now I'm using the um, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend as her colour corrector which is really really good. So for her like scars and blemishes I just put that on there and it's really good because it sets so it doesn't mix with your foundation. And then for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in 330. I definitely recommend this foundation if you don't have it. It's such a good foundation. I really, really love it. It's like my go-to at the moment. And I am just buffing this in with the Kat Von D foundation brush. I think it's the angled foundation brush. So once I was done with that, I did apply some tan Tarte Shape Tape Conceal and Tan Sand under the eyes and blended that out. And I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. This is suede that I'm highlighting with, so under the eyes, on the forehead, bridge of the nose. And I also use suede, which is a deeper bronzy colour, and I'm using this to kind of contour and add shadow and depth back to her skin. And I also went in with Espresso, which is even a is even an even deeper colour. Oh my god, I can't talk. But anyways, I was saying I'm using espresso just to add a bit more depth to the contour and make it look really, really nice and chiselled. I've been loving to do this lately. And I'm using one side of my Real Techniques sponge to blend the contour and then the other side to blend the highlighted area. So you want to make sure that you don't mix the sides. And these matchsticks are so, so, so easy to work with. And I actually contour my nose even more now just to just give it a bit more shape and definition rather than it looking flat with just foundation on it. I find that when you contour the sides it makes it look really nice. So once I was done with blending I did use some Kat Von D loose setting powder and I set her under eyes with that using the sponge which is actually damp. And I also set around her smile lines, chin and forehead. And I used a big fluffy brush to brush off the excess and whatever was left on the brush I just set her whole face. 
Now I'm going in with some Sleek Contour Kit in Medium. This is an oldie but a goodie. This was my go-to back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel. But I'm just applying this on the contour to set it in place. And very lightly using feather-like motions to blend that on top of the contour. So you don't want any harsh lines or anything like that also put some on her jawline as well and then i went in with this nip and fab contour palette in deep and i used the orangey color as her blush it's such a pretty blush now onto hala my favorite thing i'm going to be using the huda beauty 3d highlighter palette in golden sands and i'm using f um not fiji seychelles and tahiti i kind of mix the two tahiti is my favorite because it's like a more bronzy color and it's the third color in the palette but I'm using the two to highlight the highest points of her face. Look at that glow, guys. Look, just look at it. It's so pretty. I also did a bridge of a nose, Cupid's bow, chin. Basically all the highest points of your face. And then I went in with some of the brownie shades that we used on the lid on her lower lash line. And the dark, dark brown that we used on the lash line. I'm bringing that really close to her lower lash line. So her lower lashes. And I made sure that I really blended it out so it created this really nice smoky look. And then I used Fiji, which is the cream um, highlight from the Huda Beauty palette. And I applied this on her inner corner just to give that really intense in inner corner highlight. And then, oh my god, I feel like I'm saying, and then, and then, and then, there's so many steps, guys. But bear with me, we're still, we're almost there. But I'm using this Clinique um, Blackest Black Cardial Eyeliner on her lower waterline. And then I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray, which I absolutely love. And I just drenched her face in that because her skin is a bit dry, so it just added some hydration back to her skin. And I like to take a palette to just dry it off. Also put some of that Urban Decay mascara on her lower lashes. And then onto the lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in Brown. It's one of the lip pencils that I actually use a lot nowadays. I recently got it actually. And then finally I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte in Girlfriend, which is again my favourite. She wanted a nude lip so I just used this basically and applied that on her lips. And she did wear kind of like a low top, so I drenched her shoulders and decolletage areas, that even how you say it, <laughs> with some Glow Setter Setting Spray by Glam Glow. And then I went in with the Huda Beauty Highlight in Tahiti and um, Seychelles, and I just highlighted her collarbone and her shoulders. Like, she has collarbones for days, guys. I'm so jealous. But yeah, that's how I create this look. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you would like to see more kind of videos like this. Um, could please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!